Mm. Whatever you need to, get a good erection, get a good sex life. Get what I call good dick energy. Okay, so welcome back to the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And back with us is Dr. Rudy Eberwein. Welcome back, Rudy. So happy to be here. Always a pleasure talking to you, Stephen. It's my pleasure to have you. So today we're talking about the best peptides for erectile dysfunction. So go ahead. So erectile dysfunction is such a common disorder that we deal with in hormone optimization in men's health. And the incidence of erectile dysfunction is increasing significantly. Um, I still remember the first time we saw the commercial for Viagra, 1992 by Senator Bob Hope. It was during a commercial for um, a football game. And it was amazing because it was the first time we were able to talk about erections in a public space. And it became a, a blockbuster drug. Viagra is making so much money. And then now you have all the other PD-5 inhibitors. And I think since then, the face of EDI has changed. So when you look at companies like Hims and Roman, who are online platforms that are selling Viagra, Sildenafil, the generic for Viagra online, the actually the, the spokesperson, the owner for Roman is a 27-year-old guy who came in on TV and said that he had ED, his dad was a doctor, didn't want to go to the doctor's office, and he started an online platform. So to me, that, that's a great thing first, that you have young guys who can come and say that they're dealing with this. So taking away a lot of the stigma of ED, but you see that in 30 years, we went from the spokesperson for Viagra being a 72-year-old man to now it's a 27-year-old man for, for ED. So it shows yeah. us that the incidence of ED is increasing. It is really something that we don't talk enough about. And ED, a lot of people will say it's in your mind. Yes, ED can be very psychological. But a lot of time, there may be an organic reason, a physiologic reason for it. And the bad thing with ED, you have one miss, and it's in your head now. Mm -hmm. It happens to a guy one time for whatever reason. He drank too much alcohol. He, he wasn't in a good mood. He took some medication. It happens one. Now, every time you're going to go and perform, it's in your mind. Now, mm -hmm. when it's in your mind, your cortisol level goes up, and then it goes. So it becomes a, a, a cycle. Yeah. How do you stop that? So first, you have to see if there's a physiologic basis. So when patients come to our office, one of the first reasons for low T, not first, one of the main complaints of low T is decreased sex drive, decreased libido, or ED. And there's a difference between those two, because some patients will tell you, my sex drive is low, my desire is low. And I'm like, how's your mechanical erections? They're like, the mechanics are fine. I just have no desire. Low T will cause a lot of this. And testosterone, most of the times, can fix this. Testosterone increases sexual desire, um, sexual um, enjoyment, even orgasms become stronger. But the problem, is with, the problem is with the mechanical erections, and we see that a lot. And sometimes testosterone does not fix that. So you'll get a lot of guys on testosterone, their levels are 800, 1,000, they feel great, their desire is better, but they are still persisting with ED. Mm -hmm. And I call it, I don't even like to call it ED, I like to call it EP, erectile problems. Mm -hmm. uh, or EI, erectile issues, because it doesn't need to be dysfunction to be distressing psychologically. It could be that the erection is not strong enough, not firm enough. It could be that you missed one time. It could be that you get an erection and then you lose it during sex. So all of those are erectile issues that cause yeah. problems. So what do we do with patients like this, right? So first, I take a very good history. When did you start with, with the erectile issues? How bad is it? I usually ask you know, how confident are you that if you're going to engage in sex, that you have a strong enough erection to do penetration and to finish all the way through from one to 10. And a lot of guys will score a five, a seven, uh, and it could be any of those. Some guys have no erection whatsoever. Some guys are able to get an erection, but it it, it falls down during the, the sex act, usually even like position dependent. And then some guy get an erection, um, and it's not strong enough for, they can masturbate, but it's not strong enough to do penetration. Mm -hmm. So all of those things are possible. So what do we do when we see that? First, we check testosterone level because testosterone and sex drive and strength of erections, there's a lot of data um, that it positively impacts it. And that's why guys love to be on testosterone. Their sex drive is better, their erection is stronger. So the first thing we do at our clinic, we check testosterone levels, it's, it's inadequate then we go and we try to see. And in most cases, 
that fixes both problems, the desire and the strength of the erections. Mm -hmm. Most guys who come to our clinic, they're already taken Viagra or they've tried Viagra or Tadalafil because it's so easy to get now because think to those online generic, it's much cheaper to get. So a lot of guys will take that. Uh, but there's about a 40% not, uh, rate of non-responders to PD-5 inhibitors like Viagra. So a lot of the guys that come to us, they already bought Viagra online, they bought Tadalafil online. If it works perfect, we don't tend to see those patients. Mm -hmm. It's when it doesn't work that they call us. So the way I approach it, number one, I fix and replace testosterone. So therapeutic testosterone as needed. If that, then I tell the guy, wait a couple of months, see if it works. If it doesn't work, or if I see that the erection was pretty bad from the beginning, I'll do a combination of testosterone replacement plus microdosing Tadalafil. Five milligram of Tadalafil or Cialis brand name daily is actually FDA approved for better prostate health. It's a muscle, it's a vasodilator, so you tend to get more blood flow. Bodybuilders like it, they get more vasculature uh, when they work out. So it's a really good hack to do testosterone replacement plus micro microdosing Cialis. And then I like to add nitric oxide, a good form of nitric oxide, because nitric oxide is also um, causing vasodilation and it's upstream of PD-5 inhibitors. So we've had guys who were taking Viagra or Cialis did not respond to it. You add a good source of nitric oxide, now they respond to it. So it, it's almost when I evaluate a patient with ED, we have scale of treatment that can do, a gradation mm -hmm. system. So first, testosterone replacement. First, of course, it's always, if you're overweight, you have insulin resistance, uh, you're not eating well, you know, you have belly fat, all those increase inflammation and decrease erection. So we fix those things. So always, it's always nutrition, exercise, lose weight, keep lean muscle mass. Number two, testosterone replacement, if needed. Number three, PD-5 inhibitors plus nitric oxide. When we do all of those things, most of our patients do better. But the case that we see a lot is venous leakage. I tell my guys, erection and men were very simple. Erections are a hydraulic issue, right? The way we get an erection, it's blood flow. The penis is flaccid, um, blood comes through the artery, you get tumor sense or an erection, but immediately the blood can reflux through the veins. If the veins don't close and maintain the blood in the penis, you'll have tumor sense, then venous leakage and goes back down. And you'll get a lot of guys tell you this. They're like, when I take Viagra, I, take, I feel blood flow coming in. You feel tumor sense, you feel that it's getting harder, but it doesn't stay, it doesn't stay. Those guys never get a full erection or guys, they get it up and then this, it goes down. And it goes down sometimes depending on position. Uh, very easy to know if a guy tells you when she's on top and I lose my erection, that sounds like venous leakage. Mm -hmm. Venous leakage actually on studies has been shown to account for about 80% of cases of erectile dysfunction. So, and it's a very simple hydraulic issue. Guys were very simple, right? Women, when you think about their desire, their orgasm, there are so many hormones, there, there's, they need to feel love, they need to feel connection. A guy, you get an erection, you're ready to go, right? It's that simple. Yeah. So now going back to, to the way I treat patients with EI, erectile issues. So we do all those things. We fix their nutrition. We'll help them lose weight. We put them on testosterone if needed. We add um, microdosing Cialis. We add nitric oxide. Most patients will get results with this. Now, if you don't, I tell patients to separate the results of testosterone from their erections because sometimes it doesn't work. They're, they're unrelated. So they'll tell me, I feel great with testosterone. I have good lean muscle mass. I'm less anxious. I sleep better. I get all the benefits, but my e e erection is still bad. Maybe I need more testosterone. This is not where the place where more testosterone is always the answer. Sometimes mm -hmm. more testosterone is bad. What I do with those patients, sometimes HCG will increase uh, desire, will increase tumor sense, like better erections. So in my practice, I'll say maybe 20 to 30% of our patients like the combination of HCG plus testosterone. A lot of guys don't like to stay on, on, on HCG and I give them the option to maintain some testicular function. But for some guys, adding HCG for sure can increase erection, can increase sex drive. Then if we do all this, none of it works and we're suspecting venous leakage, that's where I like really to go over venous occlusion rings, cock rings. Really, really important. The, the porno stars know about this. They're all using that. Because again, it's a very simple mechanistic 
um, hydraulic issue. If you get blood flow and the blood refluxes, you lose your erection. How do guys like to stay and perform? They use cock rings. So there's multiple companies now who, who've come up with FDA cleared medical devices that are called venous occlusion ring that mm -hmm. are really good for ED, especially for venous leakage. Those are amazing. Like the one that I prefer, it's called Giala, X-I-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A. It's been FDA cleared and it is a venous occlusion device. So it is a, a cock ring that you put at the base of the penis and closes the veins. This can get guys amazing erections. And some of our guys, when they get to that level, they, they'll use a penis pump. So again, it's a very, I, I love how guys are simple. You understand physics, you understand erections. So you use a venous, uh, uh, an air pump, where you do the vacuum, you bring the blood into the penis through the arteries, then you'd cause the venous occlusion. Most guys, no matter how bad your penile tissue is, you can get an erection and maintain it with the occlusion ring. So that is a good thing. So I have guys that, again, you go down the list. If I have to go all the way down to using this, we will. Now, I have to tell you, those guys who do all this, erection is still not good. That, 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 that's the truth. And, and they'll tell me, my, my testosterone is not working. We don't understand yet how, what causes, why erection sometimes happens so bad. There are studies now showing that plasticizer like phthalates, BPA, when you expose to them, they cause direct um, cy cytotoxin of the, the, the testicular cells um, effects, or they cause penile cell effects. So you have destruction of the penile tissue, and we don't understand why the, the patients don't respond to nitric oxide. And that's where what I tell patients, you need to be able to get a great erection no matter what. Because an erection is such an important part of a man's life, having great sex. Uh, you know, I came up with this word I told you before, sexual performance-related anxiety and depression spread. This yeah. is real. This is real. So many guys will call the clinic and they'll say they're depressed. They'll say, yeah, because their erection, they, they lost their sexual confidence. There's nothing worse than spending a night with a girl. You couldn't get it up or you, you didn't make her come. You didn't please her. Men, we are driven to please our women, right? To please the female. Yeah. So when that doesn't happen, it is a truly distressing psychological situation for a man. Whereas the opposite, you had a great night of sex, you had great erection, you, you know, like you performed well, she, she, she came, you came. It, men are more driven to please their females than getting the pleasure themselves. You have a great night of sex like this, the next day, you're different. Your mm -hmm. shoulders are back. You're smiling. You're saying hi to everybody. Whereas if you had a bad night of sex the next day, the sky is falling. Everything feels dark to you. So sexual performance-related anxiety and depression, I tell my patients, a lot of guys think I need an, uh, an SSRI, a depressant, which makes everything worse. Mm -hmm. I'm like, absolutely not. You need to have two or three great nights of sex. You'll see how life changes for you. And it's true. Yeah. So again, I go down the list. And if I do all this, there are some guys who don't even respond to the, to the venous pump, to the air pump, or to the occlusion, because really the penile tissue is damaged. Those are usually guys post-prostate surgery, really bad diabetes, and others that we just cannot explain. A lot of times we may not have an answer. This is where you should consider Trimix, penile injections. There's a lot of people using that with great results. Of course, it's annoying. It's it's, it's, you have to do a stick to your penis. A lot of guys are so stuck with it. Although there's an intraurethral uh, gel that's available of the trimix without having to inject. But mm -hmm. for guys who have severe EI, severe ED, I tell them, be okay with this. I don't care what you need to use. You need to gain back your sexual confidence because you should not, we have enough technology to help you with this and you should not let a bad erection mess up your relation your relationship, you should not get let a bad erection mess up your self-esteem. And it happens so much. Mm. Whatever you need to, get a good erection, get a good sex life. Get what I call good dick energy. Good dick energy, GDE. Yeah. What it means is you feel confident in your, in your sexual, um, uh, you, you, you feel sexually confident. And mm. sexually confident just doesn't mean, doesn't mean a sexual issue. Even for the female, you know, like making her feel safe, making her feel confident and having great sex, it's so good for your mental health. Yeah. So if you have to use Trimix, despite using everything we said upstream of this, 
it is what it is. Just accept it. If that's what it is, you need to. And trimix, of course, there, there's a lot of instructions. There are side effects of priapism, erections lasting too long. But when done properly at the right dosage, usually guys, it takes maybe a few times then they get used to it. And guys love it. Yes, it's annoying. And I tell them, you know, look at life like a stoic. It is what it is. You mm. take it as it is. You try everything else. If it works, any of those things option work perfect. But if it doesn't, don't keep chasing other things. Go to the trimix. Yeah. Now, I even have patients that trimix doesn't work. And you know what? On those patients, a surgical implant is not a bad idea. Because mm -hmm. although it sounds horrible to even think about this, but don't let a bad erection mess up your life. My mm -hmm. friend, the urologist, I have a few bunch of urologist friends in the Miami area. They tell me they'll, they'll penile implant services. They'll backed up two to three months. That's how I mean, and it's no longer for 60 and over. They have 40 year old guys. So, and, and, and the satisfaction rate on a penile implant is 95% and plus. So mm -hmm. I'm not telling everybody go and do this, but if none of those things work, you need to fix it no matter what. That, that's my mindset. I'm a no matter what mindset, whatever it needs to be done, let's fix it. Mm -hmm. So now to talk about peptides, there's great peptides that can help with this. So the peptides we can use are the PT-141 or bremelanotide peptides. And we've had amazing results with this. So bremelanotide, they act on the melanotin receptors. So it's in, it's in the brain. And we're not sure how it works, but it can induce amazing erection. So PT-141 is a peptide that you inject usually four to six hours before sex and, and can induce, you, there's even like a, uh, just like Viagra, a cautionary tale. Be, be careful with preopism. Um, a lot of guys will tell me they've used PT-141, get good results. The next day they're walking and they get random erections. So it's almost like a Tadalafil. The, the duration action can be up to 48, 72 hours. So you mm. may still get more reaction. And PT-141 is amazing. It's not just the erection. You kind of get more, 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 more power and more pleasure in sex. I've tried it. I love it. It's amazing. I call PT-141 the porn star in a shot. Mm. <laughs> when it works, it works really well. Of course, there are side effects. One of the main side effects can be nausea, flushing. So what we recommend in our practice is to start at the lower dose. Yeah. So again, if I see at my patient that came in with, with problems or erectile issues, and we went down the list, right? Mm -hmm. Weight loss, testosterone replacement, Tadalafil, nitric oxide. We do the cock ring. Um, do, nothing great. Um, maybe before trimix, I'm like, let's try PT-141 because that's an easy thing. Yeah. And for a lot of guys, PT-141 plus daily Cialis and testosterone, they're happy with it. They're great. They don't need trimix. So that's a really good peptide. Again, it can be the, the main side effects is the nausea, the flushing. But another thing that we need to tell people, because it stimulates the melanin receptor, the melanotin receptors, one of the side effects or good benefits are that it can tan your skin. Yeah. So when you take it, you will notice that your, not everybody happens, but if you have fairer skin, it can happen more often. You see darkening of the skin, which is most people like that. They get mm -hmm. more tan. Um, some people can get it more and they start seeing their nevi, the little nevus yeah. gets a little darker. More, so that becomes yeah. a little scarier. But usually they recommend not to use it too often. So I tell my guys maybe to use it no more than eight times a month. Um, to really kind of be careful, not be careful. And I have guys who use it 10 times a month, don't get much timing, and they love it. Yeah. So everybody's different, but that PT-141 as a peptide, for the people that it works with and does, does, don't get side effects, they love it. And that the other melanotin products are melanotin 1 and melanotin 2. Those are mostly for tanning of the skin. Yeah. And a lot of people love to use that, especially in our practice, we've used a lot of melanotin 2, and for, for tanning of the skin. There's less of the sexual effects of melanotin 2 or melanotin 1, but some people still get increased libido and better erections, but way less than bremelanotide, which is PT-141. So okay. a lot of my guys who don't have problems with erection will use uh, uh, melanotin 1 or melanotin 2 more for tanning with plus or minus sexual um, effects. Pre- uh, PT-141 or bremelanotide will give you mostly the, side of the, the sexual desired results, less of the tanning, although it can still happen. Mm -hmm. And so, so this is the whole gamut of what we tell patients. 
So when I do a consultation with my patients, very rarely did they find somebody, a doctor or, or a provider that can talk to them about openly about sex. And I try to be very open. I'm like, this is part of wellness. This is this has to be part of wellness. We, yeah. we are animals. We are sexual animals before anything. Mm. Sex, there's people who, who identify now as asexuals. Yeah. And you know what, they don't, and, and that's okay. But if you're somebody that this is important for you, and for most people it is, having a healthy sex life is always important. And what I tell my guys also, and a lot of times erectile issues and erectile dysfunction is very humbling for some men, but it makes them better lovers because now they don't just rely on the erection. And we know that men and women have such different way of achieving orgasm. A mm. guy gets an erection, most of them, they just want to go and pump away. And in three, five minutes, it's done. The woman takes almost 20 minutes to get really prepared for arousal and then eventually orgasm. So if you don't really take your time and be patient and do a lot of foreplay and get involved in all this, yeah, it, it's your woman may not be satisfied and it's mm. not a good relationship. So a lot of times what I tell my guys who have any erectile issues, I'm like, Learn to please your woman from other ways that will make you a better lover. Of course, you want the strong erection. You want that GDE, but it makes you a better lover when we when sometimes that humbling experience happens to you yeah. and you like you do more. Now, once you learn all the other things and then now you get back the strong erection, you're a superman. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs>